Good morning, everyone. This is Deb Jordan. I chose to do my video today about nursing theorist Ann Boykin and Sidvina Schoenhofer with Nursing is Caring, a model for professional, a model for transforming um, practice. This theory, uh, the primary concept includes caring, focus and attention of the nurse, nursing situation, personhood, the call for nursing, and the nursing response, the caring between the patient and the nurse. The meta paradigm concepts for this theory, the person, it's about the whole person, the virtue of humanness. The environment includes environmental pressures that your patient is facing. Health, the broad spectrum of the human living. And nursing, to include nurturing persons living and caring and growing and caring. My presentation is, the case study is about a 58-year-old female patient who's homeless in the community. She has two grown children and she lives at a, at a woman's shelter. She has stage four pancreatic cancer. Important issues for this woman, who I'll call as Annie in my film to protect her identity, are pain, education about end of life, her planning of her belongings, and decision making um, going forward. She's suffering from a lot of pain. She's not taking the right amount of pain medication because she has no safe storage in place right now. She fears that her peers at the shelter will steal her medication. She's concerned about how to get what little she has for physical belongings to her children when she passes. You've all heard this quote, but it certainly kept ringing loud and clear as I worked with Annie and thought about this project. They may forget your name, but they will never forget how you made them feel. As Annie hugged me as I left appointments with her and meetings with her, I couldn't help but think that I had the most rewarding job in the world. As I entered Annie's world, I faced challenges that I didn't even know existed. I was intimidated. I was afraid. I lacked knowledge. I was afraid of the shelter. I was afraid of the unknown. Um, I had to face a world that I didn't know anything about. It compelled me to want to learn more. It compelled me to face the fears. And as I met Annie and walked through her situation, couldn't feel more committed to reaching out and learning more. Um, this theory is about practicing uh, formed intention. It's about authentic presence and organizing empirically based on knowledge for practical use, unfolding nursing situations. Um, it's a unique experience that we've been called to do. And this holistic approach to practice in nursing is one that I truly found to be applicable to the homeless population that I work with in my practice, it's critically important to meet my patients who are homeless in their world as a whole person, removing judgment and trying to help put a plan for what they're dealing with in their health situation in life in place that's applicable as a homeless person in the community. That's, that's imperative for any sense of success in these situations. The assessment and planning involved from a nursing perspective, um, I went to the doctor's office with her. We talked about pain management. We talked about options for pain. We talked about storage of our pain medications at the shelter. These were imperative conversations to have to make sure that that basic human need of pain management was being met. Annie was very thankful that um, myself and another social worker went to these appointments with her together with Annie we worked on trying to put the pieces of this puzzle together. I gathered information for Annie about a living will, and I also gathered and sat with her and had discussions about hospice care. A lot of this was information that I could start planning and putting together, but it was gonna be physical meetings for Annie to speak with people to make sure that there was follow through in her wishes and getting the work done. This wasn't a one visit, this was several visits and several providers in the community that were gonna to have to work together with Annie to make this happen. She is a whole person and working with Annie as a whole person was critically important. 
Um, I had to remove Deb Jordan's wishes, uh, Deb Jordan's priorities, and work with what Annie's priorities were. She struck my heart, and I think she made me aware that Annie wasn't the only person in our greater Portland community living with end-stage cancer as a homeless person. It really made me think about, on a broader scale, what we had for options in the community. Um, I had to talk to Annie and, and her doctor about her fentanyl patches where she was storing them, oral medications. Um, her comfort was really her first need physically and a top priority for me and one that as a nurse I felt like I could help impact with her. Education about end-of-life decisions was a large part of the work that we did together and took a lot of coordinating to make sure that we could get this information together with her. Community oncology practice with social workers was huge to get involved. This took many hands, holding hands with Annie, to try to get these resources in place for her. You know, we discussed hospice practices. We discussed pain medicine. We discussed Annie's world. We discussed treating Annie as a whole person, taking her community resources and her environment into complete consideration. We took the reality of what we were putting together to make sure that it would work in Annie's life. This was important in putting this together. I was compelled to start to find information to work on a larger scale to find out what more can be done for oncology patients in the community. I guess that's what projects like this actually do for us, is make us think even bigger, and that certainly has happened with this. Nursing is an art, and if it's to be made an art, it requires exclusive devotion, as hard as preparation of any painter or sculptor's artwork. I just love this. Each case we work with is like putting another um, canvas out there and making and creating a plan that's going to work for that patient. This practice truly allows me to be able to do that as a nurse. I've included in my last page the references I used for this presentation. I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to present this to you today.